All right. Well, thank you for that picture, John. And tonight, Northern Kentucky has one of the biggest cleanups to do. It wasn't hit. It was hit early and hard by the storm. That is. And night on your side, Evan Millward is there. What are the roads like now, Evan? Well, to take a look, we got a bird's eye view of 7175 just past the cut in the hill. You'll see at this 11 o'clock hour, almost all the lanes are almost entirely clean. But look how they glisten. Is it wet? Is it black ice? That's part of the fear. That fear is twofold. Fear of freezing and fear of far more traffic on the road tomorrow. Good old shovels. Don't leave home without them. This guy's got the right idea. Hey, for ten dollars you can make hundreds of dollars with them. You know? Eric so, Sullivan's just one of a handful of people who said they spent the day plowing away around Villa Hills. And I got a real job, but when it snows, it's time for me to go shovel snow. For Sullivan, it's a family affair. He and his son JR say they'll make twenty-five to thirty dollars an hour each. But he knows all too well how dangerous roads have been. His brother-in-law crashed on 75. He had a four-wheel drive, and he wrecked it. Ashley Rund is returning this rental car to CVG, then it's back to Mason for her. Highways aren't too bad, going around 45 miles an hour. Some people are a little bit slower. Some are zooming past you, but. <laughs> her drive hasn't been hard, but it hasn't been quick either. She says she understands Governor Steve Bashir's state of emergency. There are definitely a lot of accidents all over the roads, and so being careful is really important. Yeah, the cold will take the air out of your tire. Eric Sullivan hadn't heard about the declaration. He was too busy, and he's still got work to do before another long, cold day with his son and their shovels. It's time to go home and do it all over tomorrow. So back out here live, refreezing the issue in the morning. Governor Steve Bashir saying by declaring that state of emergency, he can deploy aid across the state more quickly. He also hopes drivers take notice and stay off the road tomorrow. We're live in Fort Mitchell tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. Evan, thank you.